Hi everyone and welcome to the next video in this Outfit Studio tutorial series. Today we're going to cover an important topic that we've only touched on briefly so far in the previous videos. Mesh partitions. This is going to be another lecture style tutorial, which I know is not as much fun as doing hands-on activities. But we need to get a good handle on partitions because it's something that can make or break your outfit. There is an excellent article written by Hannah that explains partitions maybe better than I will. I've put a link to that article in the description and I encourage you to check it out. Here is an overview of what we will be discussing in this video. If you just want the quick lowdown, you can head right to the key takeaways. You can also use the video chapters or timestamps in the description if you want to skip to specific parts. This will be a video for anyone at any experience level who would like to know more about partitions. But I will be going slow and explaining in some detail, so if that's not what you're looking for, then this video may not be for you. Let's start off with the definition. What are partitions? Partitions are groups of vertices in an outfit or an accessory mesh. They are generally used synonymously with the different body slots that an outfit or accessory uses. When you hear the terms partition, body slot, biped slot, biped object, biped node, armor slot, or equip slot, we are usually referring to the same thing. In your outfit NIFs, each mesh will have at least one, and often more than one, partition. Partitions or body slots are defined by numbers. We've already talked a bit about slot 32. That is the body or the main torso slot. Feet use slot 37, hands use slot 33, and amulets use 35, just to name a few. Before I explain more about partitions, I want to make sure you are aware of the two required records that every outfit or accessory must have in their plugin, meaning the ESP, the ESL, or the ESM that adds the object to the game. Every outfit or accessory must have both an armor record, which defines the item's ground model, its armor type, armor rating, value, weight, etc., and it must have an armor add-on record, which defines the NIF file to be worn and what races can wear it. Partitions for the item are included in both of these records, but they do not have to be identical between them, because the partitions actually mean something different in each record. In the armor record, the partitions serve as equip slots, while in the armor add-on record, the partitions serve as priority slots. So partitions within a NIF serve several purposes. First, and perhaps most importantly, they tell the game which part of the body the item should be worn on, just like an equip slot. Some slots like 32 body, 33 hands, and 37 feet will actually replace the naked body meshes for those parts. We've talked about this before, particularly how the 32 body slot of an outfit means that it will replace the naked body. But many slots, like 35 amulets and 42 circlets, for example, do not replace any portion of the body and are instead worn on top of it. The body slot or partition that is used to define where an item is worn can be found in the armor record of the outfit's plug-in. You can only ever wear one item in a specific body slot at a time. So you get one item in slot 32, one in slot 33, one in slot 37, and so on. If the armor record in the plugin lists more than one partition, then all the body slots listed will be taken up by that item. So if, for example, I made a bodysuit that covered all of the body, the hands, and the feet, and I listed the equip slots in the armor record as 32 body, 33 hands, and 37 feet, then I could not wear gloves or boots with the bodysuit, since you can't have more than one item at a time in a certain slot. If I tried to equip boots with the bodysuit, then they would simply knock the whole bodysuit off and I'd be standing there naked in my boots. 
The second and less understood use of partitions is to identify parts of a mesh that should be hidden by another mesh. This gets defined in the Armor add-on record for the outfit or accessory in the mod's plugin, and it uses a priority system to determine which mesh is seen and which is hidden. Larger numbers get priority, and numbers should be chosen in multiples of 5. For example, a priority number of 15 wins out over 10, and 10 wins out over 5, and so on. In the Armor add-on record, there are often multiple partitions listed, and they are not exclusionary in the Armor add-on record, like the partitions used as equip slots in the Armor record are. This means that you can wear items together that share the same partitions in their Armor add-on records. We will talk more about this in later videos, and we will see how to handle all of it in the outfit's plug-in records. So don't panic if you're a bit confused about it right now. Let's focus the rest of this discussion on partitions as the equip slot, and we'll save partition priorities for a separate video. There are a lot of different partitions we can use as equip slots in Skyrim. There's a good list in the Creation Kit support pages, and I'll put a link to that list in the description. Bethesda only used the top of this list for vanilla items, but modders have successfully used the rest of the partitions on this list for new clothing, armor, jewelry, and accessories. In an effort to be consistent, there was a consensus decision made by mod authors some years ago to use the extra slots as defined here. I strongly encourage you to do the same so that we can harmonize our outfit work for maximum usability by the player. The reason harmonization is important is because, remember, partitions listed as equip slots are exclusive, and you can only wear one item per partition. If you try to wear an item that uses the same partition as something else you're already wearing, it will knock that item off and replace it with the new item. So if mod authors use the available slots all willy-nilly, we will end up with silly things like bracelets that can't be worn with belts, or eyeglasses that will remove your belly button piercing. When working in Outfit Studio, we use the Partitions tab to set the body slots we want to be associated with the outfit or accessory. Different vertices in the same mesh can be assigned to different partitions, as you can see here for the CBBE body. But each vertex can only be assigned to one partition. In your finished NIF, at least one of the partitions for one of the meshes in the outfit has to match the partition used as the equip slot in the plugin. For example, this outfit has partitions of 32, 34, and 38 in the NIF, then it has 32 as the equip slot partition in the plugin armor record. It's good for outfits and accessories to use more than one partition in their NIF, like this example especially when the item covers major parts of the body, such as the torso, hands, or feet. This allows you to use the partition priority feature of the armor add-on record in smart ways to reduce clipping. We will talk about that in detail later. So generally speaking, when you see meshes split into multiple partitions, it's a good thing, and you should leave them alone. Just be sure to match the partitions used in the NIF with those listed in the plugin, and do this in the appropriate plugin fields, or else weird things can happen, like having invisible body parts when you try to wear the item in the game. So here are the key takeaways about partitions from this video. Number one, meshes should be assigned to the appropriate partition or partitions, and we should all try to follow the conventions established by the modding community. See the link in the description for the list. Number two, the vertices in a mesh should be split across multiple partitions as appropriate when it makes sense to do so. Refer to the upcoming video on partition priorities for more info. Number three, the correct way to deal with partitions in the plugin is as follows. All partitions used in the NIF should be listed in the Armor add-on record with appropriate priority values in multiples of 5. These partitions are the priority slots 
and they are not exclusive. At least one of the partitions used in the NIF should be listed in the armor record. These partitions are the equip slots, and they are exclusive. This was a relatively quick introduction to partitions, and I don't expect you all to be experts in the topic just from this brief explanation. We will continue incorporating partitions into the examples and exercises going forward. And I'm confident that you'll get the hang of it with repetition and practice. Thanks for coming along with me on this little foray into mesh partitions. Next up is our last video about clipping, and we're going to do something a bit more dramatic than what we've done so far. I hope you'll join me for that, so I'll see you again soon. Bye!